Hi, Guy Berger again here at the world famous Palms Trading Company in beautiful Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are having a beautiful fall week and we're having fun here selling things and we thought that today we'd have a little more fun and talk to you guys about miniature pottery and other miniature uh, Indian arts and crafts that we sell here at the Palms. Uh, it's kind of a neat, different uh, art form and you are not going to believe how small and fine and beautiful that some of our artists can get uh, some of these items. So we're going to start here on my right with some lower end uh, small miniature pottery mostly from Hamas but there's a couple of different ones in here. First we have a little seed pot with a little butterfly on it and these are done by the Chinana family. All of these, there's a little uh, orno or bread oven with a little kid just a small Hamas plate about an inch and a half in diameter. We have a handmade pitcher, a little storyteller with several kids on the front. I think there's three little babies on the front and here in the back is a little teepee with a little kid uh, in there also. Here we have a uh, what Mona Teller from Isleta calls her babies and this is just a little variation on a storyteller but just the kid, not, not the mom or the grandfather or anything like that. And behind her we have a very fine pot from uh, Santa Clara. And this actually does have a lid. And this is by Dolores Curran of Santa Clara. Finely polished and finely designed. As I move over to the middle, I have many great examples, mostly from Thomas Natsaway of Akuma. Thomas is actually Laguna, but he's married to uh, Charme Shields knots away, an Akuma artist. He loves to recreate older uh, pottery from many different Pueblos in miniature form. So for instance, here is a large pitcher with the Akuma parrot, a Hopi Oya, a pot from Laguna, I believe, uh, a Hopi cylinder, uh, just some other forms. These are old Anasazi forms and another Hopi pot. Uh, this actually does have a lid also that I can pull off. Thomas does not use uh, a magnifying glass or a magnification of any kind. He does all of this uh, freehand. On the top I have some more examples of Laguna Jar and a triple canteen. This triple canteen was made famous by a lady named Juan Alino from Akuma. I have two little interesting, I'm going to move this one over here, but two little Zuni seed pots. And first I have the large one, if you can call it that, with a lizard on the top. Uh, it's done by Tammy Belson, both of these are. And then if you can zoom in right here, this is the tiniest one I think that she's ever made. Barely half of your thumbnail and finely painted, uh, very well balanced, quite interesting. Moving farther along, I have some silver items, miniature silver items by Wesley Whitman, a Navajo silversmith. This is a fine wedding vase. In fact, this is large for him, and it has turquoise inset and many beautiful different designs and stamping all around. He also does other miniature pieces, a teapot with a removable lid, a coffee pot, a wedding vase, and a pitcher. All of these done by hand, meticulously uh, soldered together and uh, polished, uh, beautifully made. And then finally to my left, I have our giant, if you will, Kachinas by Ron Hinshaw, who doesn't make Kachinas anymore, but we got a collection of them in a few months ago. And as we move down, the medium range, and this mud head that I have right here is actually a double or a piggyback. As you can see right here, there's one. Uh, attached to the back of this doll. And then down on the bottom are the smallest kachinas that we carry and they're all made exactly in color and form to the originals. But if you see that, how small they are and how beautifully done they are, it's quite amazing that anybody would have the uh, steady hands and the patience to do one of those. If you'd like to know any more about other items that we have, I hope that was interesting for you. Uh, we love showing these things off to see how beautiful they can be even in the miniature form.
Thanks for watching and we'll see